Hi there and welcome to this video. My name is John Jardine from Ukavuma Solutions and today I'm going to show you how to automate testing in your X pages using Selenium. So Selenium is a web-based testing automation tool and it's got a broad range of capabilities. Um, it also accommodates more than one programming language but for the purposes of this tutorial I'm going to be uh, using the Selenium IDE plugin which does playback and recording of uh, interactions with the browser okay my apologies recording and playback of interactions with the browser all right so to install this plugin uh, launch Firefox and go to a website called seleniumhq.org once you're there click on the download tab and you can click on this link over here so you want to download selenium IDE uh, version 1.5.0. This will install the plugin in Firefox and once you have that plugin installed you can launch the, the plugin by going to your file menu, going to your uh, tools menu option and clicking on Selenium IDE you'll get something like this. Okay so that's your that's your control panel for Selenium. Alright so from here now what I'm going to do is I, I need an X pages application to test and I'm actually going to use my online showcase so I'm just going to type this in showcase hyphen xsp.okavuma.co.za and once that loads you'll have to log in uh, you can just use the username guest and the password guest all right so that will take you to our showcases home page so this gives me everything i need to actually perform some testing over here so to start my test what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the record button so now that's recording and this will now go and see everything that i do inside this x pages environment so on top here, you can see I have an active bar custom control from openntf.org. It's a jQuery control, and I'm going to go and click on this X, and that will close it. So that's probably my first action according to Selenium. Then I'm going to go to the Project Manager Report uh, X page. Once that loads, I'm going to go choose All Projects and say Selected Projects. I'm going to click on this, which will load a picklist controller, choose an option, click on Finish, run the project, there we go, it's got a dojo tree grid here at the bottom. I'm then I'm going to go to the timesheet dashboard. I'm going to go and choose my name, John, select a project, um, click on submit. It's going to validate. I can go click on this dojo accordion, put some values inside here, click on submit. It's going to add it here to the right hand side. I'm going to choose the edit option, change 10 to 150, click on OK. Go to the second page of this pager. There we go. And I'm going to end it off by going back to our home page. All right. So I can go here now and I can go and click on stop. And you'll see on the right hand side, it's gone and recorded all the actions that I performed on my X pages environment. Okay. So everything got recorded here on the right hand side. So here's the best part it's as simple as clicking on playback to go and run these uh, run and automate this test that I just did uh, but before I do that I just like to make mention of this you'll see over here we have a speed controller and this will determine how fast uh, Selenium performs the actions that you did now if you're working on a local server and you're running a very very nice computer you can you can get away with running it at super speed and that will just go and perform all your test cases uh, with probably no error but I'm currently working remotely so I don't have that luxury I'll definitely need to slow down the actions and I'll put it over there that should be sufficient enough and now I'm going to go and click on play test case so I'm going to click on that and what it will do is it will first reload the browser's URL and then it will go and perform all the operations that I did. So you can see that it's already doing everything. I'm in the timesheet. There we go. Add some values. It's going to add it to the page on the right hand side. There we go. Click on the edit link. Ah, hit a snack. Okay, so what happened over there is it took longer than expected to update the repeat control on the right hand side. So it seems that while I'm working remotely, uh, it, it, it was still running a bit too fast uh, to, to achieve everything in the right amount of time. So I'm going to go clear this log here. I'm going to go and slow it down just a little bit more and I'm going to go and say play again. So it will reload the browser and it will go and close the active bar, go to the pro project manager page, do everything over again.
this tool actually works very well. It's really saved me in a lot of test cases that I had to that I had to perform online. So there, it achieved that. Went to the page and go back to the home page, and we are done. If I go over here, there were no errors. It performed everything 100%. Okay, so that's that's perfect. That's exactly what you need. Now, um, on the right hand side, yeah, all these actions that occurred, it's I, um, it's important to note that you can add your own commands. Um, so you can go and insert a command and tell it you want to do certain certain things. I'm not even going to pretend to know what most of this stuff does. I just use this to test um, the actions that I perform. But what, what is nice is you can go and in certain sections, you're actually populating values into fields or dialog lists. So what you can do is you can actually go and modify these values right over here so that you can experience possibly um, how it will interact with different results. Okay, so like there, for example, instead of just typing in John, I can say John Jardine, and then in my next test, it will go and add that instead of what I added initially. All right, so that's the one thing. Then you know you can save these test cases. So uh, what I can do over here is I can go under this untitled, right click, go to properties, and call it showcase. There we go. And when I click on OK, it will now say Showcase. That, is, that star over there means it hasn't been saved. So I'm going to go and say Save Test Case. I'm going to put it locally on my right. And that's that. So if I close this and open up Selenium again, you'll see that it, it starts from scratch. But I can go and open up my Showcase. And there's all my actions. All right. So the last thing to make mention over here is that you can group test cases into what they call test suites. And what's nice about this is while you can perform uh, individual test cases, you can also like perform an entire suite of test cases, uh, one after the other, which I think is flippin' excellent. Um, that That's really going to come in handy with a lot of the projects that we plan on doing. So um, I hope this was uh, valuable to everyone. Um, it's, it's definitely made a difference in my uh, XPages uh, development. And uh, yeah, if you have any queries or questions or anything, you can contact me um, either um, via Twitter uh, at John underscore Ukavuma. Please note there's an underscore over there. Or you can uh, follow me on my blog, which it's johnjardine.ukavuma.co.za. Or you can uh, also go to our website, um, ukavuma.co.za. And under the contact details, you'll, you'll get all my email uh, and contact information. So thank you very much for watching this video. And until next time, um, happy coding as always. Bye-bye.